You are here because the outside world rejects you. Let's do it. Okay, so we're back building another one of these this fine product from Zilla. This is another micro habitat, but this one is bigger than the previous one. So again, we just kind of take a look at the box, which uh, looks pretty cool. I like the, the art that they have on the side here. It's very uh, inspirational. So let's go ahead and open this box up and let's take a look at the goodies we have inside as we slide everything out, nicely packaged. Uh, not really much for wasted space, which is always nice to see. Everything's nicely wrapped, protected, of course, because this is acrylic and uh, acrylic will scratch. So you have to be mindful of that kind of stuff, especially when it's being shipped around in a box like it was. So nice to see all this is uh, beautifully wrapped. Of course, these are the little rubber bands that help hold things together. We'll get to that later. Of course, these are the instructions. Who the hell needs those? Not me. Let's get into this. Okay, so this is the base tray for the unit. Uh, not too bad for a reasonable amount of substrate. Uh, depending on what the animal is, but for the most part, this will be adequate. So this is one of the uh, end panels, I suppose. And uh, another long side panel. Just kind of going through, just checking, you know, make certain there isn't anything broken, anything, you know, badly defective. Um, and getting an idea of the pieces, because again, we didn't read directions because we don't need them. But, uh, you know, we need to see what we're looking at here as far as all the parts. And, uh, you know, start building this thing in our head. Quick camera readjustment. And uh, now we go to figuring out what all these parts are course this is an important one you want to look for this one first in my opinion and uh, what we're going to do is you're going to need the locking mechanism which is in the bag here with the rubber bands uh, eventually I will find it and retrieve it and a little bit of struggle there we go almost ah oh, finished there we go good okay so this is our locking mechanism pretty Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but could be easily messed up. So pay attention. The part is marked, so we want to make certain we get the right part. And you put it in on the right side, which is the stickered side. But first, we have to get rid of this this film. Yeah, the dreaded film. While I appreciate what it does, it is a real pain to come off of there. But I guess that's uh, the price you pay, right? While I struggle with uh, removing the film, uh, why don't you go ahead and give this video a like. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe because uh, I do these kind of videos often. And listen to that beautiful sound. You liked it. You know you did. So now we're going to uh, go ahead and put this part in. Again, it's important to put this in the right piece, uh, the right panel at the right position. So there's two holes there. You're gonna to wanna to put it into the, insert it into the top hole. Um, I find it's easier just to kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit to get it to pop in there. And now that that has been uh, identified and assembled, let's go ahead and just continue taking film off of the each, each panel piece. Now these two are my long side panels, so we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, struggle it, peeling the film off of them ones next. Also, if, uh, if you have any tips on how to remove this a little bit easier, uh, definitely share that in the comments below. Uh, unfortunately, I will have already struggled through this by the time you give me your helpful hint, but it may be able to help somebody else. Still working on it. I tend to try to go for the corners first. Um, typically that's a, a little bit more of a weaker spot, but once you get the peel up, ah, oh yeah, it's so satisfying. And we gotta flip it over. It is has film on both sides. I guess technically you could leave it on if you really wanted to, but it's not gonna be as crystal clear with the film on there. So we're just, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. There we go. Yeah, that was a little bit faster that time. I might be learning something. 
Okay, so once we have identified the side, um, again, we want to, you want to line up the tabs that are on the side of the tray with the slots cut into the side, like that. And they just simply push through. Now, uh, if it's the right panel, it's going to set flush with the base of the tray. So that's kind of how you're going to know if it's upside down or not. Although this one's a little more self-explanatory. So... Uh, these are the rubber bands. What you simply do there is just wrap them uh, around the peg and uh, just kind of stretch it and then slap it into place. So just like that. So that is, uh, that's our end piece and uh, it's vented. So it kind of, uh, kind of will indicate what direction is facing up because uh, you want the vent upwards, and obviously there's a slit there that goes into the other two tabs, which we will get to that in a moment. I find it's easiest to put that long panel on first, and then do your two end panels. And see so again, we just line up the two tabs, and uh, push them through the slots. It gets a little, it's, it's very tight, which is a good thing. Um, but I was putting it on upside down because you've seen the vent was at the bottom. So there, again, who needs instructions? Not this guy. So again, just simple. Put the rubber bands on. Simple as that. Now we're going to spin it around. We want to do the other end panel. And because I want to make certain I do this right to make certain that... Um, you know, things line up right. I kind of, I needed to eyeball it a bit, but uh, yep, just like this, it's a little tricky because now we've got two sides already on, so it's starting to stiffen it up a little bit more, but we will get it in there nonetheless. Just be careful not to, uh, not to crack or, or break anything. It is acrylic. It's plastic. While it is rather durable, it can also break easily. So that I'm just pointing out to make certain that, so we have the one side on already, um, facing in the, the appropriate direction. So I just wanted to make note that when we do the next one, um, of course, eat, there goes that rubber band. Okay, for a brief moment, I go try to find that rubber band. It is MIA, so you know what? It's lost. The project must continue, and from the last build, I've we, I had two extra, so I'm assuming that they always give you two extra. So we'll worry about it if we need it. So here we go. The last long uh, panel to be placed on here. Uh, correction: This is the lid. This is the lid to the unit. Uh, again, we're going to uh, be struggling with uh, removing the film. Um, but not too bad. There we go. Uh, it's it's getting a little bit better. Each piece is different, but sometimes you get it quickly, and sometimes it's just it's just the facts of life, folks. So we want to make certain that that end is also facing the end that our latch is on, because that is the spot where the latch connects to, or uh, rotates into. So definitely got to have those lined up. So again, this is the first time I've built one of these. So uh, I kind of approached it like I did the last one. And then I realized that that method is not gonna work here. So because of the way it connects in, we are going to just uh, have to set this aside. Uh, that's what I'm kind of showing you. It's got to drop down and slide over. So uh, it's best to just put the, the side panel on first and then drop the lid in and on fitting there and I'm just wasting time at that point so um, I don't remember why I put the lid back on and then I was like yeah no never mind what am I doing get your life together bro so here we go back to uh, the struggling of pulling off film um, which is uh, which has been you know the the highlight of the of the reel I suppose can he do it Will he do it? Stay tuned and find out. Nope, not yet. There we go. Are we? Are, oh, there it is. There it was, folks. Blink and you will miss it. 
but you get a second chance the other side. Um, if I remember correctly, this one was much more of a pain. Um, I guess I remembered wrong. That was actually rather painless. So, want to make certain things line up, but uh, it's not just push it right on there. Connect the rubber bands like we have seen before. And this is actually a pretty easy process. It's not that complicated. Um, and actually, it actually does work really well. I, I'm impressed. When I first seen it, I was like, yeah, maybe. You know, it's probably more of a gimmicky thing. But uh, no, I'm actually really impressed with with the uh, the engineering of that. Um, I think it's going to hold up just fine for uh, a lot of critters that we're going to put in there. So the only, the only thing I have concerned is is sometimes like those rubber band things will, uh, you know, over time, like in, the, in a few years, like they kind of like dry out or something and get brittle. So but I have an idea to fix that later on. But there we go. Simply just drop in the lid and there we go. We rotate the clip and then it pushes down so that second hole that you've seen on that panel um that is where the little notch there uh fits into and then it just pivots open pull it forward drop and it drops down then push it back to lock it in and then to make certain that it will not open unless you want it to just rotate your thing Again, we did have uh, we did have two extra. Of course, the one is uh, lost to the other side of the room, um, never to be found again, only to be discovered by archaeologists thousands of years into the future, and they will probably not understand what the system is, unless they find this video. But uh, so yeah, this is the unit. Uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, to play around with this one. Uh, it obviously has more space than the last one. So we can do more with it, and uh, we can also have a little bit larger inhabitants. Um, the photo shows a frog, but I think we can do a few other things in there. And if you don't trust the rubber bands, just get some type of uh, super glue, and uh, you know, just simply dab it on there, and I think that will work. Um, that's what I'll eventually do with this, but I just didn't do it for this video. So that is going to be it uh, for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Uh, there's probably a few other of these videos up, uh, depending on when you find this one. Um, I did buy three of these units, three different units. All will have their own build videos, just for uh, those people who want to just see a particular one. Uh, but anyways, we will be playing around with these and trying out different uh, habitat builds in each one of these and then um, see what you guys like and uh, let's just explore the possibilities of what we could do with these things the animals we can keep and how well of a, a little micro habitat if you will um, that we can set up I have uh, good faith that we could make some fun stuff out of these and uh, make some enjoyable content for you guys to uh, to watch possibly learn from uh, share your ideals in the comments below for others to see um, yeah, let's just have fun with it. So if you want to see what kind of habitats I build in this, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Those videos will come out as soon as I can get them, uh, built and edited and uploaded. So I just want to thank you for uh, sticking around this long into the video. If you are not a subscriber yet, again, I highly advise you to subscribe. Give me the old thumbs up and, uh, leave a comment. And until next time, later.